Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, as you can see, I've got all my ballast songs lined up here, and um, I'm going to be doing a collection video, so let's get in, let's get straight into it, this, this is going to be in no particular order, I'm just going to go from left to right, and um, I'll talk about the price of each one, so first up, we've got the Zippy Cycloid V1.6, I believe, it's an alright 3D printed flipper and um it's about a hundred dollars is what i paid for it but i think you can get it for about 80 um but if you plan on doing any customizations like blade swapping you're looking at um quite the expense but um it's nice um all right moving on we've got the kraken trainer with the zippy 3d printed inserts do i recommend the kraken trainer um no get a live bladed kraken they're better so much better all right moving on we've got the bally plus lucha I do not recommend this just because it's quite bad. It's like 30 bucks. It's not even mine. I I bought it, didn't like it. Gave it to a friend for his birthday. I just took it home to clean it after I hung out with him. So that's that. Um don't buy it. Um Dallasong flipping Polaris. It's alright. How does it compare to other ballast songs? It's not that good. It's very lightweight. Not my preference. 3.8 ounces. It's a trainer. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this one. But, um... Yeah, don't recommend it. Also, because you can't resell this thing because uh, ballast song flipping is hated. Uh, next we have the Falcon. This is the first one I'm going to recommend. $40 and you get a solid flipper. This is my first live bladed balisong. And it's a very nice balisong. So if you guys have $40 and you want a good balisong, buy this. It's got no tap. Very little play. Highly recommended you buy this knife, guys. Alright, here we go. We're getting into first expensive live blade. This is the Frankenforge Galvanis with some LED caps on the end of it by Zippy. Now, I don't really recommend this unless you guys just love... Um, very blade bias knives because that's what this is if you're buying this you're getting a blade bias um, I don't really recommend it but it's not bad it's definitely not bad it's got a bit of tap but you could tune that out but I'm pretty sure he's working on V2's this is the V1 um this is a BB Firefly. Very good flipper. Recommended that you buy this if you want a good trainer. Buy the BB Firefly V2. Very good. 100% recommend. Squid Trainer V3.5. I can't speak on... Um, a V4 because I don't have one nor am I going to buy one but this is the 3.5 honestly my favorite trainer I would rather flip this over any other trainer I flipped um, it's got tap but that doesn't really matter since it's on washers you can tune it but I don't really care 
keep this thing in mint condition pretty much. It's got no beatings. Um, Max A Subsidian Latchless. This gave me a good scar on my hand. As you can see right there, it's not really picking up, but right there. Nice little scar on my hand from a failed um, ice pick aerial catch. So there's that, the Max A Subsidian. Uh, I recommend it, but you'll probably have to tune it. I had to tune mine because the bushings came pretty oversized um, but overall solid knife um, stock replicant with alt blade I recommend this it's very good if you can get a hand on one of these for a decent price recommended goodbye Custom Replicant by yours truly. I'll go in a bit into a bit of depth for this one. So um, for the blade, it is a Frankenforge um, Nightmare Grind Reblade. Um, for the scales, I got them from a friend named uh, Just a Knife Person. Um, if you want those. Uh, he'll probably end up trying to comment on this video or something about them. So just DM him. Um, these liners are mirror polished um, Foxfire Factory solids. The hardware, uh, the the screws are and the screw pivots are from Squid Industries. They're the Kraken. Um, tie screws um the body screws and um they're from oh i can't remember but it's uh, just some company on ebay that sells uh titanium replicant screws um the zen pins and everything else is from usa knife maker um and the bushings are from frank and forge came with the blade the spacers are from zippy they're 3D printed um, polyurethane spacers. Uh, very rubbery. They'll take an impact and protect your replicant. And then I've got 3D printed channel spacers wedged in the liners. And it's got a bit of tap, but you can get rid of it with uh, some carbon honey. Next up is... Squid Industries Bowie Kraken. Probably my favorite Kraken purely because of looks. Very fun to flip. Highly recommended that you buy this knife. Next up, we got my Tonto Kraken. Also, highly recommended. Very good flipper. Um, Fellowship Blades Medusa, also a very good flipper. Sounds beautiful. Recommend you guys buy it. This one is a bit of a gimmick. So, it's a V4 makeup blade on 4.5 handles. It's got tap, and if you guys hear that collision, it's because the mouth hits the inside of the channel, so I put this little stopper there so it doesn't clack, but yeah, the handle gap is destroyed on this beaten blade. Uh, next up, have a cheap Amazon spoon. It's uh, pretty funny to flip. It doesn't flip good by any means but it's fun to flip so if you guys want a funny little flipper I recommend this little spoon from Amazon it comes with a fork too but I gave it to my mom next up we have the squiddy terrible knife 
don't get this. The um, it's on washers, but they sent me like a crap blade, and um, I didn't bother fixing it because the blade broke. Ordered a replacement blade, and um, it was oversized, so I sanded it. Accidentally undersized the blade, and then I was like, "Wow, this thing flips like crap." So then. I um, put a screw through the head of it to give it some tip weight, and um, it flips good now. But I, I don't recommend you buy a squiddy. So, um, moving on. BB Barfly Pro V3. I made a video on this one a while ago. And... Um, it's it's all right compared to all the other all, all the other trainers I have I wouldn't really say it's up there but it's definitely not on the bottom of the list still a solid choice if you want a good beater this thing no tap and it's been dropped on concrete probably a hundred times um, next up is this cheap Amazon Benchmade 51 clone. Um, it's alright, it's on bearings though. So, that's really up to you. The bearings suck. So if you probably swapped them out, it'd probably be okay. Uh, stainless steel, um, liners, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's handle biased, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's just a cheap Benchmade 51 clone. I believe it's by Marcolo. Next we have the BB Barracuda. This thing, it flips great. Sounds great too. But this was before the milled version was released. It still flips okay, but if you're flipping this thing outside, you're dropping it on the concrete 100%. Unless you have just anti-slippery hands, you're dropping this thing on the concrete. So, it's pretty pretty big, but not as, not as big as the BB Firefly. And then, last but not least... is my uh, hand engraved channel um, Black Balasong Reaper which I also made a video on as you guys remember very good flipper do recommend you get this uh, I have a sandwich one coming soon as well as an um, Atropos Spy so I will make videos on those when those get here because they seem like pretty darn good ballad songs. So um, there's that. And um, collection video complete. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want a review about any of these specific ones, I can go into depth on any of them. And... Um, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.